What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Thoughts Wrestling bringing you a very different video today. I've never done anything like this before. Today guys, we are doing 10 records that were set or updated in the 2021 men's and women's Royal Rumble. What Royal Rumble records were either broken, made or updated this year? Let's get right into it with number 10. Okay, so number 10. Now this one is obvious. This is the first Royal Rumble ever to have zero crowd. There was no one in attendance. We had the Thunderdome, which was virtual audience. However, the only, the one and only, we hope, one and only Royal Rumble to ever have no crowd, which means it will be going down in the history books as a very, very special event. Uh, not special for a good way, unfortunately, obviously due to the global situation. There could not be any audience in the crowd. Hopefully, we get them back for WrestleMania, but this will be the one and only Royal Rumble where there is no audience. Number nine. Okay, so number nine, the Rated R Superstar Edge actually updated his total number of eliminations spread across eight rumbles to 20 three eliminations. It was 20 beforehand. He got three eliminations in the rumble that he eventually went on to win. Number eight, Randy Orton set a new record this year. He is actually the newest superstar to spend the most time in a Royal Rumble match and not get any eliminations. Beforehand, it was Sami Zayn in 2017. However, this time round, Randy Orton spent a whopping 58 minutes and 28 seconds in the 2021 Royal Rumble and didn't even eliminate a single wrestler. That is crazy. Next up, we have Braun Strowman updating his record of total elimination spread across all entered Royal Rumbles. Strowman has entered six Royal Rumbles and now has 35 eliminations in total. Obviously, he won the greatest Royal Rumble in 2018. He ties the record with Brock Lesnar at 13 eliminations in total. However, this year in the Rumble, Braun only got four eliminations coming in at number 30, tying total eliminations with Damian Priest and Big E. Strowman updating his total Rumble eliminations to 30. Five. Next up, we have a record for Bianca Belair. She is actually the first person to win a Royal Rumble match from the entry number three since 1992, where Ric Flair won the WWF Championship in the Royal Rumble match. Belair is the only person, the only female to ever win from the number three position, and she's the second person ever to win from number three. It has been since 1992, guys. That is crazy. Another record we have is the first time the 24-7 championship has ever changed hands in a Royal Rumble match. R-Truth jumped into the Women's Royal Rumble, lost the championship to Alicia Fox before eventually winning it back. This is the first time the 24-7 championship has ever changed hands in a Royal Rumble. I honestly think it should have changed hands more, uh, not just once, but you know, Alicia Fox, you hold that record. First ever 24-7 champion in a Rumble match. Next up, guys, we have a two-in-one. Kane setting another record. He has updated his total eliminations across all Royal Rumbles to 46, which is absolutely insane. He has also updated his total amount of entries, Kane being the number one at the top, most entered in a Royal Rumble, to 20 Royal Rumbles. Absolutely crazy by the big red machine, Kane. Next up, Randy Orton setting another record for himself in this one. This time, he has become the runner-up for two Royal Rumbles, 2006 and 2021, eliminated by Rey Mysterio and Edge in order. Randy Orton has only been a runner-up twice in his career, and he has been a winner twice in his career. Which one will he see uh, getting three first? Will he win three, or will he be out runner-up at three? We just don't know, but Randy Orton setting himself another record. Bianca Belair once again setting another record in the Women's Royal Rumble. She now has the most time spent 
in a Women's Royal Rumble at 56 minutes and 49 seconds. Belair coming out at number three, going on to win the thing, lastly eliminating Rhea Ripley at 56 minutes, 49 seconds. Will someone beat that in the next few years? We're just going to have to wait and see. And finally, the number one record that was set at the 2021 WWE Royal Rumble. The Rated R Superstar Edge won his second Rumble from the entry number one. This has not happened since Chris Benoit in 2004, which WWE don't mention. They can't mention it due to them not being able to mention Chris Benoit. Before that, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels, meaning Edge is the third man ever to win a Rumble from the number one position. What a record to hold. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think? That was 10 records that were made, set, uh, you know, updated, whatever at the 2021 WWE Royal Rumble pay-per-view. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if there's any records that I didn't add to this list. I'm sure there's more than 10. I just wanted to do 10, you know, nice, quick, easy number. Let me know in the comment section down below if there's any that I didn't mention. Once again, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe. <laughs>